Hi everyone, this is Chaz. I'm going to do a quick video journal here. Uh, today's date is Tuesday, April the 16th, 2013. It is about 10 minutes before 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, the reason I feel like doing a video journal is because I've been uh, really depressed the past few weeks. Um, And it's and it's kind of impacting my life a little bit. I, I'm just I'm not feeling very motivated. I'm not feeling very sure of things um, the past couple of weeks. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that yesterday um, the depression was building up to yesterday, and yesterday was the uh, the one year anniversary of uh, David ending our relationship. Um, I've had dreams about him for the past three nights in a row, and uh, usually when I dream about David, it means I'm kind of sad and depressed for the rest of the day. Um, especially when the dreams are very, you know, they, they were, it, the dreams are like he never left, and then I wake up and he's not there. So that's, that's kind of how the dreams have been the past few nights. Um, I just uh, just remind remembering that you know it was a year ago that that David decided that the nine years that we had wasn't worth anything or weren't worth saving and ending the relationship. And before that, there was the fact that uh, you know we were coming up on a year from when I left for a week to just to give us some cooling off space, um, hoping that that week would be enough to, for us to you know, move forward, get help, you know, get therapy for our relationship. Um, but all that week did was allow David to decide to end everything. Um, and I, uh, so I'm, I'm just, I've just been really depressed, I've been really sad, and so I uh, kind of wanted to get my feelings out. Um, school is going okay, I guess. I, I need to get cracking on some of uh, some work for my Hebrew Bible class as well as for my Theories of Change class. Um, but you know, when you're sad and depressed, you kind of don't want to do those things. Um, on top of that, I've been having some really, really horrific headaches. Um, which I think were kind of sinus related or, or kind of sinus related. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm not feeling, not feeling it right now. Um, and it's kind of sad that I'm, I'm saying that. Uh, I'm not thinking about dropping out, although it is a, a possibility. I would need to make sure I had a job or something first before I ultimately decided to, uh, to leave school. Um, and there, there, there's really a part of me that just wants to pack up my laptop and my and some clothes and just get the hell out of the Midwest, go somewhere where nobody knows me, maybe even change my name, just try and start a new life. But I don't know if that would do me any good or not. I just. To know that David is, you know, just 10 miles away, 10, 11 miles away, and that I can't or don't want to see him when he was there every day for nine years, it, it's rough. It's very rough. And, uh, you know, I've made a lot of progress over this year. I'm not crying as much. I mean, I do still get my weepy moments, but I'm not crying multiple times a day every day. I'm not tearing up in the middle of class like I would at work um, when I was working for Motomart. Um, I just... It's, it's school is a lot harder, and it's a lot harder because I don't have that support that I was expecting when, uh, when I was applying to schools that, you know, when I got accepted to CTS, you know, that I was expecting a certain amount of moral and 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 emotional and even physical support and 
you know, to not have any of that, to have all of that just stripped away um, because David wanted to be with someone else. It just, it really hurts, and, you know, I'm struggling. I'm struggling emotionally, I'm struggling mentally, I'm struggling physically, well, not physically, um, but at least not yet. So there's certain things that I have to do really soon. I have to start looking at uh, options for CPE or clinical pastoral education, so I need to make an appointment with the director of field education to talk to her about that. And I also want to talk to the director of community life about, um, I think I need to go and start seeing someone professionally. Um, so I need to find a, a, a sliding scale therapist. Um, and I also need to make arrangements for an internship or some kind of work. Uh, so I need to talk to people about that kind of stuff. Um, my professors know about the depression and, and the issues that I'm dealing with. So most of them are, uh, are being very, uh, supportive, very pastoral, um, and giving me time to get things done. So, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's not easy. It's far from easy. I just, uh, I don't know what to do. I mean, other than my, do, do the work, do my school work. Um, I also have a couple things coming up. I have uh, my high, 20th high school reunion um, in Springfield, uh, which I am debating whether or not to go. I'm tentatively signed up to go, but, you know, I just don't feel like I've accomplished a whole lot these past 20 years, and I'm not really sure I want to have my failures be put on display for all those people to see. Um, but. Maybe I'll go. For no other reason than to wear my clerical collar at the reunion to see people's reactions. Um, had a couple of interesting, uh, good interesting um, days over the past couple of weeks with regards to possible um, relationships. Um, had a kind of a very serendipitous date day on Friday with this guy, uh, Nathaniel or otherwise known as Nat, who's a really cute guy. He's a, a doctoral student at U Chicago. Um, and then there's a guy at my school who I'm kind of interested in, who I and I don't know if he's interested in me or not, but we'll see how time goes with that. But uh, that's what's going on. I'm just, I'm really depressed. I'm really unsure of things, and I'm not feeling the work. I'm not feeling the, the call right now. Um, and a lot of it's because of dealing with the one year anniversary of, of David dumping me. So I guess that's about it. Um, that's really all that's going on. I just wanted to get these things off my chest. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. If you have any comments, questions, or um, topics for pre future journals that you would like to uh, um, like to see discussed, feel free to leave a comment or email me. Um, so uh, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and each other. Talk to you later. Bye.